Sonic the Hedgehog has two main gameplay styles, Spin Dash and the Boost Formula. I've already made a video trying to beat a game with the Boost Formula without boosting, so let's play a game without Spin Dashing. And why not one of the best classic games in the series, Sonic Mania. Please remember that everyone who believes that Sonic 3 and Knuckles is better than Sonic Mania, this is a personal attack and you ought, and you should take offense to this. I'm joking, but people will take offense if I did not mention that. I, I agree, Sonic 3 is better, who cares? Woo! I want to play Mania, because I like Mania. Let's just get into it, baby! I'm playing as Tails, because I like Tails. Green Hill is the only stage where I will just be going over all of it at once because it was all really easy except for like one thing which I'll mention at the end. But yeah, this level's easy, so here's a sped up footage of the entire level. Enjoy. The only thing I actually would need to roll up for was this. It's worth mentioning that every single special stage is possible because you can't even spin dash in them. So we're gonna be getting all seven Chaos Emeralds, probably before the end of Chemical Plant. <laughs> Chemical Plant Act 1 is the first stage where I actually felt like I was going slow. Because I'm normally spin dashing all the time in this stage, so it just kind of felt really slow and a bit boring, honestly. Just... Basically just, I rolled down hills, uh, picked up some speed on said hills, you know, jumped at the apex of loops to pick up some speed. That's about the only things you can do, really. So, uh, yeah, we're back to the next one, I guess. Also, yeah, I have six emeralds now. This, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get it by the next stage. <laughs> We start Chemical Plant Zone Act 2 by getting the last emerald! Let's go! <laughs> now that we have all seven Chaos Emeralds, I can definitely beat this game without the spin dash. Uh, wait, he he hello? What, what's that? Uh, Super Tails barely increases the speed? Well, shucks. Uh, yeah, that it's, it's literally just makes me invincible. That's the only benefit. It, it doesn't actually make the challenge much easier. <laughs> Let's go! One mean bean machine reference later, we beat the stage without spin dashing. Studiopolis zone is also a pretty easy zone to beat without spin dashing. Just always take the top paths, and once you get to your super form, it should be pretty easy. And this boss, you can't even spin dash in. It's just hold, hold right and you win. Well, if, if you have a super form, you just hold right and you you win. Wow, this one's pretty easy. Studiopolis Zone Act 2 is also incredibly easy. This streak will never end, will it? Despite the way I ended Studiopolis Zone, Flying Battery Act 1 is a stage that I would literally never spin dash in even normally. I, I don't think I spin dash literally ever in this stage, so yeah, just I just went through it normally and it, it was really easy. Please let Act 2 be easy. And God has blessed me today because Act 2 was just as easy as Act 1. There is one section where I had to remember not to spin dash, and that was at the end of the boss, because normally I would spin dash there. But yeah, another easy level. Press Garden Zone is a zone I always forget exists. So, you know, we're in Act 1 and... Wait a minute, let me just, let me just spin through this wall real quick. Wait a second. You can't get through this wall without spin dashing. What? Huh? I never think about this because I'm always spin dashing here. I, I I literally never think about this because normally you would you would never not spin dash here. There's no reason to. <coughs> so I do have an idea though. My plan is simple. Also, we're on a different console now because my uh, my Xbox doesn't have debug mode, and I need to be able to do that. No, no, frick. All right. 
There we go. Now we're Knuckles. This is my test. If I can't do this as Knuckles, then this game is truly impossible to beat and all. But if I can do it as Knuckles, then I'll have to like check every other Knuckles stage and play through the rest of the game as Knuckles. I, I won't just skip them all. Don't worry. I'll, I'll check them. Can I even make this jump? <laughs> yeah, I can. <coughs> all right. Eh. Can we make it? We can! Alright. I have to go back and beat every single stage as Knuckles now. But of course, Knuckles is that guy. So of course he got through all of them really easily. Now that we have Knuckles, we can easily pass up that impenetrable thing that Tails couldn't get by. It's a wall, I think. I don't know why. But, and of course, after that there was no issues. At all. Press Garden Zone Act 2 was also quite easy, despite how hard its first one was, purely because of its impenetrable wall. Uh, yeah, just, uh, at least the path I took, I met literally zero, like, anything that could stop me. After the intro section of Stardust Speedway Zone Act 1, you encounter this, a small wheel that you need to spin dash on or next to in order to make it Roll and let this, let the wall in front of it drop. I've never gone any other path. I'm going to search now. Alright, switching to live commentary, because I have no clue where the heck I'm going. Wait, is this? Nope. That ain't the way. I need to figure out an actual way. Wait a minute. Nope. That's, uh, that's a no. If you couldn't tell, by the way, I I'm very sick right now. As I'm recording this video, I'm very sick. Let's try just going up. Oh! Would you look at that? I had found a way around, and I sure as heck was gonna use it. So, I was able to make it through the level by just avoiding those little spin wheelie thingies and made it to the end and this this is a weird boss fight by the way what, what what is this also why are these enemies chasing me everywhere stardust speedway zone act two is pretty easy up until the the boss fight in the first phase there's like nothing wrong i would never spin dash as knuckles in the first phase second phase if i didn't have a super form i would spin dash normally but because that's uh, one of the ways to attack the the Metal Sonic, so yeah. And uh, in the third phase, that was, in my opinion, the most odd because normally you spin dash every single time or drop dash if you're playing a Sonic, but you can't do that, so I just kind of have to awkwardly roll into him because I ain't risking just running into him. Sometimes you just collide through him and hit the floor. Oh, hey, it's the Phantom Ruby. How cool. You little sh. Hytrocity. Did I say Hydrocity? Hydrocity Zone. Or Hydro City Zone. Act 1. Started off really easy. And then I hit this. This is right before the boss fight. I don't know if there's another way around. In this clip, I made it back to that area, but I had a super form. And I was able to make it up. I didn't have enough air to survive, but I can make it. I just need enough rings. So, time to collect those rings. Alright, yes, this is the clip from before, but that's because my footage, did my, the, my recording button didn't work. I have footage of the rest of the fight, though. The final fight. I did make it up, and I did make it to the boss with enough rings to where I was able to beat him. Beating... Hydro, Hydro City, Act 1. After the slight difficulty of Act 1, Act 2 was really easy. Enough said. Oh dear god, it's a plane level I hate. Oh, we're dead. Oh, alright. You know what, I'm fine with this. This is a lot better than flying. Sometimes I forget just how fun Knuckles' exclusive Mirage Saloon Act is. 
it's really good. There's basically three acts here, and this one is the honestly the best Mirage Saloon act I've 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 played. Because well, I've played all three and the the plain one is bad and act two is ASI. But yeah, basically we this stage is also pretty easy to do without spin dashing since it focuses mostly on Knuckles gliding and able to run through walls. So yeah, on to the next one. Mirage Saloon Act 2 gets like an additional 50 seconds added to it, just out of Knuckles' intro to it. But other than that, this is one of the shortest stages. Like, this is like a minute long stage normally. It's, it's really easy. Also, hey, Fang cameo. How cool. I hate oil lotion. This is the worst zone in, in this entire game. Like, everything else is really fun. This sucks. And it's not their fault, it's because they chose Oil Ocean for some reason. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to beat without spin dashing, though. And, ooh, look, fog, how fun. The only thing to note about Act 2 is that I took a different route and saved a few more rings. So I was able to beat the boss while I was still super, but that's all. Did you really think that would do something? One car crash later, and we're in Lava Reef Zone. Lava Reef Zone is really fun for me, and really easy to beat without spin dashing too, which is nice, because I like this stage. Now, uh, but of course, before we get into the next, before we get into Act 2, a word from our sponsor. What's up, Shrimp Lips? Yeah, there is no sponsor, it's just me. Uh, here to say, I'm not intentionally copying anyone with this video. I'm sure someone's come up with the idea of Sonic Mania without spin dashing before, and there's gonna be a whole bunch of people who will come up with it afterwards, but I'm I'm not copying anyone specifically, I'm just using this general idea that I came up with that I know other people have most likely done. Alright, now that's out of the way, back to the video. After that short break, we got one of my favorite classic levels of all time, Knuckles is lava reef because of all the secret paths you can take that no other character can so it's really cool so you know yeah and uh i did not press this the buttons to make a spin dash we are not counting that that is a cutscene. it is allowed anyway uh yeah basically yeah we we just beat up whatever this guy is called i, I forget like, stop him from stealing the Master Emerald. Bada bing, bada boom. That spin dash doesn't count because I didn't do it. Knuckles did by himself. Who cares? After that blasphemy, we get to uh, one of my personally odd favorites, Metallic Madness Zone. Which, it, it's not for Act 1, it's for Act 2 because that gimmick is funny. But, you know, yeah, this one's pretty easy. And the, the boss used to give me trouble, but now it, it, it's easy. You don't even spin dash, really. Metallic Madness Zone Act 2 is one of my favorite air zones, acts, everything in Sonic Mania because of, hey look, it's it's Mini Goku from Dragon Ball Dima. I mean, wait, the, no, that's Knuckles. Whoa! Yeah, they did it first. <laughs> yeah, uh, basically, yeah, and this, this level's gimmicks involve rotating platforms and minis. Really fun, really cool, and the boss fight is in fully in mini form, which I really like. For some reason, there is now a second me. I'm fine with this. Anyway, yeah, Titanic Monarch Act 1 normally gives me trouble, but for once, it didn't somehow. I beat it first try and apparently didn't take a single hit because I got an achievement at the end. What the heck? Uh, yeah. Also, somehow I got three rotations where the b boss went up that's possible a anyway I uh, yeah we beat it Titanic monarch act 2 I did not expect us to get this far but we're doing great I conserved rings got my super form above 100 rings let's go cool. and uh, yeah we're making it on to the boss and now we're at the end of our journey fighting the final boss Titanic monarch we beat him in nothing but two cycles, baby. No spin dashing. And then we move on to the true final battle. Which you can't spin dash in. Yay! Die, nerd. 
And after feeding the final boss, we have proved that Sonic Mania is possible to beat without the spin dash. Like, subscribe for more challenges.